if on trying to run your Epic Games, Skype or some other applications you are confronted with an error that says the program can't start because msvcp140.dll file is missing from your computer, try reinstalling the program to fix this problem. Then it's likely that such application has been developed with certain runtime components that require Visual C++ libraries to run. With that, chances are, your msvcp140.dll file is either missing, corrupt or outdated, hence it needs to be replaced or reinstalled. The msvcp140.dll is a part of Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable packages for Visual Studio 2015, and is often required for running programs developed with Visual C++. In any case, below are two possible ways to fix this error. Method 1. Reinstall the missing msvcp file. Before reinstalling the msvcp.dll file, you need to first change the file explorer options to make hidden files and folders visible. To do that, go to your Windows File Explorer, tap on View tab, click Options and Change Folder and Search Options. Click on the View tab, then below you will see the options under Hidden Files and Folder. Select Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives. Next is to go ahead and download, this is the official site for downloading DLL files. Link is in the description. On the download page, pay attention to the architecture. You're most likely using a 64-bit architecture, but if you're using an older computer, you can quickly check. Right click on this PC and click Properties. Here mine is 64 bit. Then go back to the download page and download the latest 64 bit version of the DLL file and extract to your preferred location. Copy the DLL file. The next step is to move the DLL file to the System32 folder. To open the System32 folder, go to your local disk. Open the Windows folder. Then scroll down and search for the folder System32, open that. Then go and paste the DLL file to System32 folder. Afterwards, simply restart your computer and see if the problem has been resolved. Method 2. Install the required Visual C++ libraries. The second method is to install the required Visual C++ libraries or replace the existing ones which may be corrupt or outdated with the most recent package. To check if you already have Visual C++ libraries installed, go to your PC settings. Click on Apps. On this Apps and Features page, scroll down to where you have the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable packages. Here check if you have the 2015 versions. In this case, I don't have them at all so I will need to download them afresh. If you have them already, then click and select Uninstall on each of them to remove them. Both the 32 and 64 bits. 
Next, I will now go ahead to download the latest versions of these packages from the Microsoft Download Center, link in the description. Here scroll down, select your preferred language and hit download. On the page that follows, select both the 32 and 64-bit options, then hit next. That should immediately download both files. That's if you've set your browser to allow Microsoft to download multiple files. You can do that by simply clicking on this download icon at the end of the address bar and then select continue allowing automatic download of multiple files, you can also download them one at a time. In any case, after downloading, go ahead and run them one after the other, it doesn't matter which order you install these packages, they will work just fine either way. Here I will just agree to the terms and install. Now simply restart your computer and you should have your applications running fine with no more errors.